Okay, so I'm going to set up contact with multiple outputs. So I'm going to initiate an instrument. And if I needed to create a bunch of these, I can hit Command D and we'll just keep copying them. Okay. But I don't need but one. All right, so open it up and let's say. <laughs> So I have an instrument loaded, and I need to know how many microphone outputs this has. Well, this one has six. All right, so I go down here to the output section. Click the plus button. I want six outputs. So you can drag these numbers up and down. Number of channels, two, so that's stereo, so six stereo instruments. Where do I want the number to start from? And this refers to the outputs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, and these are the number that my interface has, but this number is not important, so don't let this confuse you. So, I'm going to start with three, four. I'm going to send output assignments, and I'm going to delete existing channels before creating a new one. So it'll get rid of this one. But I'm not going to make this my default configuration. So I'll say OK. There we go. All right, so I'm going to name these based on the names of the microphones. Okay, so now the re there's a reason that I started with 3-4, which I'm going to show you in just a second. First, I'm going to assign these. So notice how it doesn't give me the option to assign them. So what is going on? So what you have to do is you have to disable the channel and then re-enable it. Open it back up, and now the outputs will see all the channels. So I'm going to assign them. Okay. All right, so let me... Find this instrument. Okay. All right, now it's playing this mixer. All right? But now I have to create outputs for these. So I had six of them. There we go. So there is all six microphones. So I would name them. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to give them assignments. So I'm holding down the shift key and I'm right clicking. And go three, four. And it assigns them sequentially. Now if I play, they're coming out here, but I'm not hearing any sound. So I need to go back to my DAW 
create buses. So Here we go. Now when I play And you can see them all playing back there. Okay, um, what I might do after that is set up a folder. That way I can hide them. Then possibly, uh, let me assign a color here, just so you can see that when you create a folder and you put items in there, they're under this color bar. All right, then I can group them all together. So if I create a group, um, depending on what I want the group to do. Um, so this is group one. I can have them solo, disable, volume, balance, mute, sends together or not. Uh, so right now I have all the volumes linked together. So this in a way right here, if I were to put this folder so that this is inside the folder. This is now a VCA fader. Okay. All right, one more instance. Um, and this is what I didn't do the first time that I wanted to show you. This is why I did 3-4 at the beginning. And there's a way around this too, but um, it just depends on how you want to do it. So, so Spitfire. Okay, so there's four microphones. So I go to the output. I need four stereo starting from three, four. And I want to replace. So let me say OK. All right, there we go. I'll just do this real quick. That's good. Now we have um, Spitfire has a reverb built in. That's a pretty nice reverb. And there's a way to actually, um, they include this impulse response that you can put in a mixer. But let's say you wanted to use this reverb. So here's why I'm showing you this. So right now we have all these going through these. I actually hide them, and the only problem with that is that you don't see any feedback here. And they're all playing back. But there's two things I'm missing. Um, one, I want to see my mix mic, which I use the tree from Spitfire as the mix mic. I want to see it through, um, I want to see it through the main channel. Um, not only that, I want to be able to use this reverb, like I said. Um, so right now, you can't hear the reverb. Okay. So what you need to do is go up to this output and create separate master output channel. Okay. 
I'm going to set this to 1 and 2. It's going to give me the message that I need to restart contact, which in this case just means disable and re-enable. Okay, so I have the tree mic coming through here. Just to prove that. So here it is right here. One and two, strings. I just call it strings just so I know it's, a, or call it mix. So it's coming through here. And not only that, I have, now I have access to the reverb. Let me go back to this horn just for an example. Now, same here. Um, I'm going to create a separate master output channel. Give the numbers one and two. It's going to tell me I need to restart, which I will. It's coming through there. Uh, now what I'll do is, see, because it's coming through the master bus, it's going through the, the server interface plugin, which I do not want to do. All right, now I'm going to select all of these. Hold down the shift key. I want to bump all these up by one channel. So hold down the shift key, right click on the mouse. I can actually let go of the pushing down of the, the button. I'm going to select 3, 4. Now this outputs 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. So this is 15, 16. So then I'll select these. And I'll choose 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6. Count fast. Okay. So now I have So let me make sure everything is set up correctly. So if that happens to you to where this first mic is coming out of the wrong output, make sure that you go to the output here and make sure it's set on the first channel, or these channels will all be shifted. Now they're all playing. Okay. Hope that helped. That's it.